Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I want to talk to you about this Black & Decker string trimmer. It's a 40 volt lithium ion battery. I've had this thing for five or six years now. I can't really remember. All I know is I bought it before I moved here and I lived here, this is our fourth summer and I've been using this all that time and it hasn't broke once. Now the reason I want to talk to you today about the Black & Decker cordless string trimmer is because in the last couple of weeks I've been doing a lot of videos on my steel gas trimmers. And I thought it would be a great idea to talk about a cordless trimmer that runs on lithium battery. Because this thing has been so reliable. Like I said I've been using it five or six summers now. Quite a bit and I'll tell you why. When we moved up here I wanted to teach my teenage boys about business and how to earn money and being responsible. So we took on some jobs around the neighborhood. The first year we had 10 lawns to cut and maintain. We bought a trailer, we bought a push lawnmower, we had two riding lawnmowers already. But what we would do is load up one riding lawnmower, the two push lawnmowers, and we would load up a gas lawn trimmer, and of course this Black & Decker cordless trimmer. And the funny thing was is, We'd cut the grass and then it would come time to go around with the trimmers and then also rakes. Two of us would do trimming. My boys and I would always race for the string trimmer. I actually let them use this one because it was lighter and much easier to use than a heavy gas trimmer. And that's how good it is. It's only like eight pounds with the battery and it's very reliable, it does the job. But when I first bought this cordless trimmer, a lot of people were telling me, oh, that won't last long. It's a throwaway gas trimmer and it won't have the power to get through thick grass and weeds. Like when we moved out here in the country from the city, friends were saying that this cordless trimmer would be no good. But I thought, well, we'll see, right? Who cares? I already own it. Let's try it. And like I said, three years of maintaining lawns for other people, plus our own property. We have eight acres here. This thing is held up and it's still going. It's still the trimmer of choice when somebody wants to do some lawn trimming. So I just wanted to emphasize how good this trimmer has been. It's been so reliable and it's been one of the favorites when it comes to lawn trimming. Now I'm going to show you all the features of this Black & Decker LST-136. That's what it's called. Um, there's other models. There's a few models just like this, but you know what? They're all good. When I was looking at these and when I bought this, I was looking at the 20 volt batteries and I thought, you know what, let's just go with the 40. It costs a little bit more. Why not go with the 40, have a much stronger battery, a much stronger trimmer that will last us a long time. So right out of the gate, we're just gonna show you, this is the automatic feed spool. You don't have to bump it, it's automatic feed. It's a 13 inch cut, which is good. It also has this here, this is for edging. And all you have to do is go like this to fold it down when you're not doing edging. But I'll leave it up right now because I want to show you the f another feature. Now it's looking a little dirty. That's because we use it. I wasn't going to clean it up for this video. I thought, let's show, if we're going to do a review on this cordless trimmer, let's show it dirty. Let's show it being used because that's a true review. It's not like it's brand new and then I did a review on it, you know, after a week or two of using it or right out of the box. No, this one's been used for five to six years, like I said. So it's, it's, it's an honest review. So when you're doing edging, what you want to do is you just push this button right here and you can turn this around like this. That way, when you hold the trimmer to go down and do edging like this, you got the handle here in front of you. So we'll put this back in the normal position and we'll take this outside and I'll show you how it works. So we also have a telescoping shaft here. So you just got to flip this handle and you can put it to wherever you want that's desirable for you for your height. You have your handle here which can also be adjusted to wherever you like it. So now we'll throw the battery in. It comes with the battery and the charger. It's been working the whole time as well. I have not replaced a single part on this Black & Decker cordless drill. So we'll throw this battery in here. You can see right there it has a button. You can see how much power you have in your battery. Now you have different powers that you can use. I usually run it on two, but if I get into thick grass or weeds, 
I'll crank it up to four or five. I've never used it on six even. Um, it's just got so much power I haven't had to. But it'll use more battery when you're up on those higher speeds. So I usually leave it on two just for normal use. So even with the battery here at the end, it's not that heavy. It has a comfortable handle. You have these buttons here that you have to push to push the trigger. So if some young child picks it up, hits the power trigger, it's not going to do anything. They'd have to push their the button in and then use it like that. So we'll take it outside and I'll show you how it works. So basically those are the two main functions that I just showed you. It works great. I really like this Black & Decker cordless trimmer. And if you're looking for a cordless trimmer, I think the Black & Decker cordless trimmer is really good. I would definitely go with the 40 volt though. If you're thinking of buying a Black & Decker cordless drill, I'll put a couple links below down in the description where you can go find them. And at the end of this video, I'll leave an end screen where you can go watch our whole playlist on lawn repair and lawn equipment. We have videos on lawn mowers, trimmers, snow blowers, you name it, we have it. So I wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video.